Tesla just revealed, unveiled a supercomputer that will help drive autopilot and full self-driving. Basically, Tesla's new supercomputer trains self-driving. That Tesla senior director of artificial intelligence, Andrei Karpati, detailed the automaker self-driving supercomputer that will error in Dojo. Dojo is Tesla's four-dimensional autopilot training program and was first discussed in 2020 by CEO Elon Musk. Karpati gave a 40-minute presentation regarding autonomous vehicles at the 2021 conference on computer vision and pattern recognition. Uh, Electrex says this is Tesla uh, this Tesla supercomputer is the fifth largest supercomputer in the world. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here first time, please take a moment, subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla, Giga Berlin, electric vehicle news, and also give us thumbs up, please like this video, share in social media so more people see it. We would greatly appreciate it. So Tesla has been working on its self-driving program for several years, and through through that time, it has trained its autopilot and full self-driving suite by using a neural network to make it more accurate and robust in its movement. As a result, Tesla has established itself as one of the com companies with the most robust semi-autonomous driving program globally. Despite this, uh, Tesla continues to make strides to improve it even further. This started back in August 2020 when CEO Elon Musk detailed Dojo, a four-dimensional training program that will process monumental volumes of video data. This is why I said it's the fifth largest in the world. Now, this aligns with Tesla's recent decision to adopt a vision-only approach in its vehicles, ditching radar in the Model 3 and Model Y. Elon Musk then said, Tesla is developing a NN training computer called Dojo to process truly vast amounts of video data. Video data is heavy. It's, uh, it's a very strong computer. Please consider joining our AI or computer chip teams if this sounds interesting, Musk wrote. For a long time, Tesla has worked with what Musk called uh, just being like two-dimensional, 2D. He said that the 4D system, four-dimensional computer system, would work tremendously better since it's basically video. During the quarter two 2020 earnings call, Elon Musk said the following. So what we've been doing thus far has really just been like two-dimensional, mostly 2D, and like I said, will correlate, correlate in time. So just hard to convey just how much better a fully four-dimensional 4D system would work, does work. It's capable of things that if you just look, if you just look, looking at things as individual pictures as opposed to video. Basically, like you could go from like individual pictures to surround video, so it's fundamental. So the car will seem to have just like a giant improvement. That was a quote from Elon Musk. Now that Tesla is moving closer to the completion of Dojo, Karpati talked about the neural network supercomputers and the excellent work of Tesla's supercomputing team. At a virtual conference on Sunday yesterday, Tesla's senior director of AI, Andre Karpati, revealed the first image of the company's new supercomputer that will help to achieve autonomous driving capabilities. I want to thank you, one of our subscribers from you guys who sent me this tip and then I researched it in the media. So speaking at the 2021 conference on computer vision and pattern recognition, it's called CVPR, Karpati said the supercomputer is able to process vast amount of video data that is sent in by automakers fleet of over 1 million vehicles. This data is then labeled by the supercomputer to help train the neural networks, which is now using a vision-only approach after ditching radar in the latest Model 3 or Model Y builds. Training these neural networks like a mission, this is a 1.5 petabyte data set, requires a huge amount of compute. So I want to briefly give a plug to this insane supercomputer that we are building and using now. For us, 
Computer vision is the bread and butter of what we do and what enables the autopilot. And for that to work really well, you need a massive data set. We get that from the fleet. And you also need to train massive neural nets and experiment a lot. So we have invested a lot into this compute Carpathi set. When I'm presenting this news, it seems to me that I'm talking about a computer company not a car company and Tesla has become a computer and was indeed. So according to the state's stats given by Carpathy, which is for just one of three clusters they use, this supercomputer is the fifth most powerful supercomputer in the world. 720 nodes, 80 giga, 800 gigabytes, 5, 5,760 PCU. And there are lots of specs of this computer, 10 petabytes of hot tier, 640 terabytes per second of total switching capacity. I will have the uh, this uh, the specs of Tesla supercomputer in the description of this video. So you can watch Carpathy's full presentation video, which I will have the link in the description section of this video report as well. Carpathy's video presentation gives great detail on Tesla's new approach to self-driving using vision only. His presentation begins at 7 hours, 50 minutes, 59 seconds. Now, we're also learning today that Tesla will hold an artificial intelligence day. Speaking of computer, artificial intelligence. So our Tesla will hold that artificial intelligence day, uh, according to CEO Elon Musk, who said it would occur in about a month or so. Musk also stated that the company will go over progress with Tesla AI software and hardware, both training and inference. Uh, purpose is recruiting, of course. The news of an artificial intelligence day follows Tesla's senior director of AI, Andre Karpati's presentation last night at the 2021 Conference of Computing Vision and Pattern Recognition, CVPR 2021. Karpati detailed Tesla's current supercomputer that I just talked about that is assisting the company's neural network store some of the most important data for Tesla's mission to introduce fully autonomous vehicles in the coming years. I think this Tesla uh, AI day is reminiscent of the Tesla battery day. They also said it will be last summer, then it was delayed to September. Now being it um, in a month or two, it may sound like in September. Interestingly, Musk noted in his tweet that the event's objective is not necessarily to show the strides Tesla has made to the public in its AI program, but actually to entice the world's engineers and other talents to come work for Tesla. For years, Tesla has tried to recruit high caliber talent to several of its departments and the AI team is now different. In the coming years, the artificial intelligence team from Tesla will be a keystone part of Tesla's overall outlook as a company as it surges towards self-driving efforts. Behind the scene, the company is making obvious steps to prepare real-world drivers for a future in autonomous driving. So friends, let me know your thoughts about Tesla supercomputer, the fifth in the, law in the world. What do you think of these specs, which I have, will have in the description of this video? This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel, like this video if you found the information useful, and please share in social media. We would greatly appreciate it. I'll see you in our next report. God bless you, everyone. Have a great day.